Hello and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for Friday the 30th of October 2020. We have some, oh, again, five cards have come out perfectly. Sylvanius, the singer of courage. Okay, let's put them all down. Ooh, okay. All right, we are on the eve of the full moon and Halloween, so there's some interesting energies going coming around at this moment in time. So I'm just going to look at the energies around the home, energies around career and finance, energies in love and relationship, and some overall men messages from the universe and general energies. So I'm just going to pull some tarot to come out with this as well, and we'll have a look. So we have as an overall energy Number 34, Sylvanius. And this is where, you know, our wounds are starting to, we're feeling weary, battle weary. It's like, you know, I've been, you've been hit with all this lovely high vibrational energy throughout the week. It's asking to be opened. And then it, it might just be that you're feeling a bit tired today because sometimes when you get um, hit with a lot of that energy, it actually just takes it out of you. So I feel like there might be some a period of integration, of recovery, of healing, of just resting, not pushing it too hard, just taking a little bit easy so that you can kind of not feel too, uh, yeah, exhausted pretty much. So, But there is some beautiful energy around you. I just feel like you might not be able to access that because you've kind of... Um, yeah, just being pulled back down into more of an earthly plane here with this Sylvanius, but it's nice. So just rest, look after yourself. We need to replenish your energy levels as well. So you might be feeling a bit, like I said, tired today. Uh, around the home, we have the Singer of Courage and the Two of Wands. You're really being encouraged around. And the home is also where the moon in, is influences the home. The moon represents the home. And you're actually really being encouraged to take to make a change here, to make take a first step. So whatever that is, it's actually, you know, this high energy is coming in and giving you the courage to do that. So there might be a decision in front of you. You might have made a decision, but this decision's been around you all week. It kind of came up at the start of the week. And then right now it's kind of going giving you the courage to do it or to make that decision, whatever it is. So there's something, it's a really positive change coming in here. But uh, yeah, it is something that you need to kind of decide to do, to take hold of and to want to do. So yeah, and it's just taking that first step and that is just making a decision around it. So career and finance, we have the Eight of Swords and the G. Hob Hobja, I can never say this, guy <laughs> but I know I can read him so he is he's very he he cracks me up this one he really does crack me up he's you know there's it's looking at areas where you have felt stuck and it's kind of been interesting energy it's been like stuck then breakthrough then coming back and getting stuck again it's kind of like one step one step forward two steps back kind of energy and it's very up and down it's kind of feels quite turbulent so but this guy's coming in and actually helping you he's trying to stop you um, from connecting in with uh, any kind of self-sabotage energy energy any thought patterns that keep you stuck he's trying to put the blinkers on and going don't listen to that so even though he looks a bit <laughs> he looks a bit like uh, scary he's actually he's trying to get your attention so something is trying to get your attention to try and stop you from going down a path where you're going to get stuck again. So whether this is a person coming in and giving you some advice or giving you some direction, it's kind of saying if you can not listen to those voices and listen to constructive criticism perhaps for some of you or just stay true to your path is trying to keep you on the straight and narrow without because it's I think because there there's a bit of a depleted energy uh, to the day it's easier to slip back into those old patterns. That's when we do. We don't have the strength to actually do it. And especially at work, you know, there's all this other stuff you get to work and you're like just going to autopilot and that he's trying to stop you from, he's giving you strength to stop you from doing that. So, 
Yeah, it's it's actually positive. He's just kind of holding you afloat, <laughs> helping you. So, yeah. Wow. Look at this. The Fool and the Fairy Guide. Two blanks, two absolute resets, two zeros, two starting from the beginning again. Love and relationship, stepping into this new energy, but it's not black, which is rep for me represents the unknown. It's white, which is the, connecting to the divine, connecting to that very high vibrational energy. So again, this is stepping in, taking stepping into the new and this new is connecting up to that beautiful divine energy that's coming through here. And I do feel like this is, yeah, letting go of previous held knowledge. So this is like a real personal journey, a very deep spiritual journey that's coming in for you. And so when we're, that's why this love and relationship energy this week has all been more focused on you as a soul, your connection to soul and connection to yourself. And this just pulls it to a whole other level. This is just like pure soul connection, just coming in and going, okay, I thought I understood it from that very high level, but now I'm open to receive a lot new information to be the student again, to be curious, to feel light, to let go of some baggage. So it's very highly transformational on a very high um, soul divine level. So it's very beautiful, this energy that's coming in around you, connecting you to you. So yeah, it's, and it, it's like a, you know, the fact we've come back to zero again, it's like a total, it could, it has the potential to be a total reset, a uh, total, uh, just letting go of some of that old programming. And that's why this fell is coming in and just helping you not slip back into that. So a message from universe, we have the bodacious Bodak. And this is the sneaky little fella. This is the sneaky guy that's going to try and drag you back down. This is that energy that's going to that's trick you and hide and go, well, you think you could step into that energy. And whenever you step into that higher vibrational energy, those lower energies do actually want to, they, they feel threatened. So they want to become even trickier, even stronger. Those voices in your head become even, um, if you're trying to make a really, really positive change in your life, change some of those subconscious beliefs, this voice can come in even sneakier and trickier. You know, just say you're trying to give up drinking as much, drink alcohol or sugar, something dietary, because I'm getting a lot of physical um, changes, have changes to habits and re-patterning and things like that coming in here. And this guy is going to, um, you kind of, yeah, I've got this, I've got, I know exactly how I'm doing it. I am clear in my head, I'm doing this and he'll come in just sideways at a side angle, a, an area that you didn't think of and go, mm, yeah, but you've got this coming up and you really should, you know, you really need to be having a drink, you know, it's Halloween and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's, you need to be eating lots of sugar and it's that little thing, you know, you don't want to miss out on Halloween or it comes in sideways. Um, that's probably more of an obvious example. I can't think of a sideways example, but it just, you know, it might be someone, this is the friend that when you're trying to give up smoking, they come out and go, oh, come on, just have one with me. Come on. And you're like, no, I want to give up. And the reason this is coming out is because there's this very strong divide, this polarity of energies coming in between what's happening on a very 5D level, which is this wonderful, wonderful opportunity to release some of that old patterning and to just be aware that this guy's going to turn up and try and he's, he's tricky. He's trying to going to try and trick you and to understand that's what it is. Okay, so just I see you, I hear you, I know what you're doing. You don't have to engage with it. Okay. So yeah, interesting. So that's the energy for Friday the 30th. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you for the weekend. Halloween. Ooh. Bye.